I'm a past the sell by date skip dipper, back of M&S, see? That's what I do. I'm having a sugar rush. Well, no one wants the cakes, do they, eh? It's New Year, isn't it, eh? And all the fat bastards, well, they're at the gym. They're at the fucking gym. And I've got 12 mini, the Colin, the Caterpillar cakes. <laughs> I've eaten 10 already, see? I mean, but why the fuck would you call a cake Colin, eh? Colin! And I picked up an extra large, beautiful, beautiful sponge lay cake I have. I give that to me mates, didn't I? I give that to me mate Lana, Lana McGee. Oh yeah, I love her. She always looks out for me. She does. She's a she's a sassy lesbian with a rainbow tattoo on her butt cheek <laughs> from Fingless in Dublin. Yeah, I loves Lana. Lana told her mum that her stepfather was putting his hand up Lana's skirt every Wednesday at night. During the, this is your life with with um Eamon Andrews, wasn't he? Eh, eh. While Lana's mum, she was volunteering, polishing the brass around the pulpit and washing, you know, the Virgin Mary. <laughs> yeah, at the, at the Christ Church Cathedral in Dublin. While Lana, Lana's mum was doing all that, a devoutly religious woman, she was. So, so when Lana smashed her mum's painting of the Shroud of Turin over her stepdaddy bastard's head and, wait for it, and smashed him in the face with a, a two-book green shield stamp sale replica of the holy fucking chalice, it was the final straw, wasn't it? She was sent packing, wasn't she? Hey, poor Lana. Now, I love Lana. Sometimes when I've had an, uh, one of them bad days and all the drunks in the park who urinate over my little world, my little world in the bush where I sleep on the way back from their whatever they do, their clean lives and their showers and their fucking football on repeat 24-7, I gets up and I goes and looks for Lana. Yes, I do. She's normally in the woods. She's normally in the woods behind Betty Lakewood's school. Well, it's quiet there, isn't it, eh? And she has a secret way in. She, get, she gets long weekends and nights undisturbed. Beautiful, isn't it, eh? It's a safe spot, yeah. Like Airbnb for Dan and Ounce, isn't it? We build campfires, oh, we do. Like, like kids on an adventure. Because, I mean, it's no fucking adventure, is it? We don't have an adventure. But we, we like sitting, watching them warming our dirty hands and shitty faces by the little fire we build and we tell stories and we toast marshmallows on the end of Lana's chop your fucking bollocks off flip knife. That's what we do. That's her pet name for it. <laughs> Lana still scraping bags of marshmallows from Sainsbury's. <laughs> The security guard knows she's stealing them. But that's all she steals because she's a beautiful person. And arresting her isn't even worth the paperwork, is it, eh? They just turn the other ways, don't they? I mean, she gives me a big bear of cuddles after, after all the cake's been eaten and the marshmallows have been toasted and we're all finished and we fall asleep in each other's arms. We're mates, see? We're like Hansel and Gretel. Or Gretel or Gretel. <laughs> I'm lucky I am. I'm really lucky actually. Because I have a mate who, who not only has the, the same sweet tooth as me, but, but, but knows how I feel. Street life. What abuse does to you. How you, you try to fight back against the silent disease. It burns your soul. With its caustic fucking soda. Average age of, age of death on the streets for a woman. Apparently is 43. Boy, fucking free. Just as well. I, I don't even know how old I am. 